The 17-year-old Tulisa Georgia and 18-year-old Avuyilengi Lima, both grade 12 learners at Pagamisa High School, reside in a dilapidated shack on Mbulelo Street in Soweto. Despite the challenging living conditions and constant fear for their safety, these young girls strive to persevere through hunger and remain dedicated to their studies. They rely on the support of community members who recognize their struggles and provide them with meager amounts of food. To ensure their safety at night, they have even acquired a dog. However, studying becomes particularly difficult during load shedding. Despite these hardships, the academic performance has shown improvement in the trial exams as the school allowed them to study in a camp-like setting. <laughs> Sometimes but gay as he as he as fancies entertainers was into so these challenges fancies face as well. Witnessing these distressing circumstances, Makagi Quick Spa owner Nombeko Ngomana partnered with Ward 27 Councillor Pagamisa High School principal and Dr. Naisha to take action. Ngomana visited the learners' residences providing them with food parcels and sharing words of encouragement. She believes that these learners are the leaders of tomorrow and cannot allow them to suffer. She stresses that distributing those parcels is the least she can do. I think in I'm in Kulengayu. My upbringing was not easy. Now been so called uh, there were times now been learning a young so I could relate to upbringing yam and learn the under Kokumi Sanders turned by a cloud to go in the bigger glen now. A one cabin and don't go to take him some bigger glen of the people's bank was rich out, did not a mark I shall declare you. And also, I think working for USPA as well in the night day and the volumes of course, also USPA we are encouraged a social responsibility, especially good community development because local remember. If money support a good community, can't in Jeng by Ezo said the Banasi Bonabantu and Atina Samba by a pass a variety, can't eat backgrounds abo, Bufugum Dana and as bands are all and the gentle. So that touched me, Cloud, um, Mrs. Nesha, because she's my former colleague, Miss Pala Sonkinas in Mandela Metro. So when she approached me at the time, then got because settled to good business that my Nash, I'll listen to you when I'm settled. So in the end, I'm Mamela, and then I was. So emotionally, you know, affected by the background of Abandwan. Okay, firstly, I would like to uh, request or maybe invite other people to be vigilant and uh, actually identify problems that are experienced by our young uh, leaders, which is the kids. Uh, future leaders that are going through social ills, which I am of the view that we have a role to play. And uh, their future is in our hands, more than their hands. That's what I've experienced during this journey. So Councillor Sitelo Mleve has applauded the community for joining hands in supporting the success of the trial exams school camp. He also extended his appreciation to Nkomana and Dr. Ngaisha for their unwavering dedication to township schools. First and foremost, I must uh, thank the community members who came to commit themselves 
to make it a point that the security to those kids were very tight. It was very tight, in fact. Even uh, those who assisted us in terms of uh, preparing meals, they came in the morning, they till late, uh, making food for, for, for the kids. Uh, we've made that commitment as an office that we're going to assist them. Hence, even today we're here, we have identified a few of them, we've seen the situation from back home, uh, we have engaged to other business people to come and, 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 and assist. <laughs> Pagamisa High School has improved from 71% to 7.95% pass rate as a result of metrics attending revision camps. Now this year's metrics say they are ready for finals with many hoping to get distinctions. Reporting for MPK TV News, I am Jessica Bobo in Kabecha.